G'day, what is it from us? Yes, you are not. Do not adjust your sets. We are actually doing a fix my fleet. It's been five months. Uh, it's been a very long time, but uh, I think Algrid, you would say that things have progressed a lot with how we do fix my fleet these days. We have a lot more people helping us, and so there's a lot more people getting the help that they need. Um, we don't have to be there mm. so much. That's right. We've got more people who have gone through the system and people will come in and say, oh, I need help with fix my fleet. And our team will have a look at it and they'll say everything we'd say and people will leave happy. And so, yeah. what's so, the point? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's it, it just, yeah, it's just good that getting, people are getting help sooner. And that, that's kind of always what me and our group always intended when we started this was to get to a position mm. where uh, people are getting the help in a timely manner. Um, and yeah, we'll go help people and uh, like so with the person that we're talking with today is Wald and we've already helped Wald uh, and we will continue to help Wald uh, in the future so it's just a matter of um, yeah it's, it's priorities and, and, and the show is still a priority but just not a bigger priority is actually helping the people so yeah so Wald tell us a little bit about yourself um, the org you're in what do you want to do in game that type of stuff Yes, um, hello guys, I'm Waldkatz, I'm from Switzerland and I'm in a German org uh, called the Das Kartell and I want to do um, industry, mining, uh, PvE, PvP and exploration. Right. Everything. So, yeah. So the, the That's other... my shorthand, everything. The other one thing I'm going to say, and this is not to throw Wald under the bus, like this is just to show you how some of the things roll out, right? How long have you been playing the game, Wald? I'm playing the game for two months. Right? And now I'm going to go to the browser now and don't have a heart attack, right? Yeah. And we're going to show you his fleet and he's going to explain why he uh, has these. So that was in two months. He accumulated this, right? And so that's why Wald's here today. Right, um, which is as uh, how much have you spent in total, Wald? If you don't mind saying. Uh, yes, around uh, five thousand five hundred bucks. Uh, are you are you married, Wald? I've got to ask because, like, like, does your wife have a really big shoe collection, or are you single? Or <laughs> I am single, but I have two cats. They don't argue with me too much, though. Yeah, I don't reckon they would. You'd probably buy them everything yeah. under the sun. So, yeah. If 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 you'd had a a wife and she would she would have had a a large shoe collection once, but now it's only odd shoes because she's thrown she'd have thrown every other shoe at him. So mm -hmm. all right, Maybe, anyway. yes. so let's go through the whole fleet, and you can just tell us your reasoning for the purchases. And if you want to say I I just liked it, that's totally fine. So tell us about the mule. Why did why'd you pick up a mule? Yeah, the mule. It's uh, pretty new. Um, and I like to uh, unload the things quickly and unload the things quickly, I think. That's the reason. Okay, the rock? Um, as I said, I'm into mining and the rock does mining. Okay. Now, um, some people might think this is actually a part of the character that he has, but it actually is individual. He actually individually picked up a Pisces. So did you pick up this Pisces with the intent that it worked with the character and you just weren't aware or what was what was the Pisces? Yes, I, I picked up the Exploration Mega Pack and uh, it was in it. So I thought it would be good for the character and yes, uh, I recently found out, as you told me, the Carrick has already won. It's all right. We can work around it. All right, Arrow. The Arrow, I uh, saw a few um, people that do PvP, and it's recommended as a very good PvP ship, so I got one. It is. Actually, interestingly enough, though, you don't have a Gladius. I do find that interesting. Cause I'll, oh, no, you do have a Gladius. I spoke too soon. Right, anyway, uh, the Blade. Why'd you pick up this, uh, the Blade? Yeah, I'm into um, cool-looking ships and alien stuff, and this looks pretty cool. Yeah, I can get behind that. The Hawk. I assume this is because this looks pretty cool as well. Um, the hawk was in one pack that I got. Um, I actually not pretty attached to it. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Interesting. The gladius. 
I assume that's for the same reason as the arrow? That's the, for the same reason, yes. It's good PvP, yeah. The Eclipse. Yeah, the Eclipse uh, Stealth. Uh, it looks pretty fucking awesome. <laughs> Sorry for the curse words. Oh, um, okay, not so. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yes, I think in the game, uh, Stealth will be, the, be pretty strong, and yeah. I will actually say I've been flying this a lot myself recently, testing out mm. some stuff. But yeah, it, there, there is something cool about it, but for, for the price, yeah. You know, and, no, I... and when I was watching the stream, you were going, this is, this is insane! Yeah, it is insane. Uh, so, it was, it was singing its praises quite heavily, but yeah, anyway. Alright, Prospector. Uh, Prospector, yeah. Yeah, mining, mining yeah. yeah. I like mining, mining yes. Uh, same thing with the Sabre. I assume people have told you this is a good PvP ship. Yes, and it has stealth, and it looks cool. Yeah. Uh, Defender, the alien thing again, I assume. Yes, the alien thing, um, and it's at the moment one of my favorite ships. Right. How could you not like that cute little crab? You know, like three fifteen p. It was also in the mega exploration pack. Uh, not too attached to it though. Okay, mantis. Mantis. So it has that thing that can pull out uh, people from the quantum, and I thought that is good, but I don't really know. It's uh, very good at the moment. What about the Legionnaire? Uh, this is just uh, LTI token. Got it as a LTI token. What about the Vulture? Is this because it's an, another industry profession, kind of like mining? So this is akin to the Prospector, yeah, but just a different vein, I assume? Yes, and it was uh, in one pack that I got, yeah. Expanse fall into that same bracket? Expanse was in the same pack as the Vulture, mm -hmm. and yeah, can do refining, so it's good. What about the Harbinger? Uh, the Harbinger. I wanted really uh, a bigger uh, fighter, and I thought uh, it has torpedoes, and so I got it. Actually, it's quite a good ship for combat all around at the moment. Just yeah, some obvious flaws. All right, so my cat just came in. Uh, Vulcan. Uh, Vulcan. Uh, repairing and refueling, and uh, yeah, I think it's, it will be good. My combat ship of choice, the Redeemer. Yeah, big turrets, many guns. I like it. All right, the Raelian. Yeah, uh, falls in the same alien category. Looks cool. Have a few turrets and yeah. Aquila? Because you're into exploring, I assume? Um, yes, it wasn't the exploration mega pack, but I am one of the few people that don't really like the um, Connie line. I, I think it looks not good. Hmm. Interesting. 600i? Is okay, that. In my head. <laughs> was, it was also in the pack, but uh, I actually like the look of it. And the Carrick? I... The ultimate explorer, I guess. So yes, best explorer in the game. Mm -hmm. Have to have it. And the merchantman. Yes, this um, is the best uh, cargo thingy I think in the game. Mm. And it's alien. And as recently, the they showed us us more about the merchantman, and I think uh, all in all, it looks very cool. Mm. So yeah. Agrid, um, after he kind of we I I met him initially, and we've kind of gone back yeah. and forward. So yeah, do you want to say what we did? Yeah, well, initially, um, as execute and I would normally say, everything below the redeemer down. Actually, actually, is... it was actually when I said it to you, it was six hundred I down. And then he's like, no, but I want the Redeemer. So, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, generally, we'd you know, redeem everything down uh, 
on the chopping block, they just just bang for buck. It's not that they're bad ships. Um, Execute's been enjoying flying the um, uh, the Expanse at the moment. Eclipse, I've been flying not the Eclipse, not the Expanse. Um, <laughs> You know, I've been flying other small fighters. You're gonna, you're gonna get join them. You're gonna give me a, like people are gonna think I'm getting like exclusive access out grid. You're gonna get me in trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, my, you know. Um, so yeah, so um, we we enjoy flying those ships, but when you look at the bang for buck and the and the cost of those ships, it's just if you can get rid of them, it's just not worth having. And that and that is often like Walt has um three three packs. And that's, prob- that's probably the biggest problem with packs. You you get a pack with some really great ships in it, but then there's some dross to either use as CCU tokens or use to pad out the pad pack and and increase its value. And and it does it does raise issues or problems if you're CCU in those ships in packs because just it just becomes slightly more difficult. But um, mm. but yeah, yeah. So I'll so, I'll flick it over to the next one, um, and this is what me and our gr- uh, wait this is what so I sent him away and he came back I, I sent this away as in homework and this is what he came back with after he uh, talked with uh, myself so um, you can see the recommendations we've made there we've kind of just rolled up and we've basically you know removed a lot of double up so like he liked the expiration so we just removed the aquila and the 600 i because you've got the carrick and you can earn down um we brought in the big industry ships the other thing i would like to add here is i also uh, told him to think about future industry ships that are not there like the gas miner and the the capital refinery and his main allowances for that um yeah obviously um He's kept some ships that he's liked. Do you want to go? Do you want to go through, um, Walden? Just tell us about um, why you ended up with what you did. So we'll just do literally what we just did, but tell us why why these ships now. I guess so. The Pisces. Why is the Pisces still here? I think it's not worth it to get rid of it, and. Uh, can just sell the normal one from the Carrick when the game goes live for credits. Yeah. Hmm, okay. Uh, Defender, because you just uh, like alien ship still, and I think you wanted it to work with the Merchantman, from what you told me earlier. Yes. Uh, yes, that's the two reasons, and it's really my, one of my favorite ships. Okay. Well, same thing for the Redeemer. We don't really have to go over that one. Uh, but, yeah, I assume that's the same yeah. kind of reasons why I like it. Yes. Yep. Big guns. Yep. Uh, the Crucible, so this is kind of like just upgrading your Vanguard, essentially. Uh, not Vanguard, sorry, Vulture. Vulcan. Vulcan. Vulcan, yeah. Vulcan, yeah. Yes, Vulcan. Uh, Man, I stuffed up twice there. Yeah, you're right, it is Vulcan. Um, yes, yes. So, t- so tell us about the Perseus. What, what's your reasons behind the Perseus? Uh, the Perseus, first, it looks uh, like a Star Wars ship. Uh, second, it has very big guns, and I like that. And uh, the low crew, re- re- crew requirements I found very appealing. Hmm. Uh, the Nautilus? The Nautilus is a very defensive ship. Uh, I like it very much and I want to get one from the start of it. And uh, it has uh, very good defensive uh, capabilities, I think. All right, so we don't have to go through the character again because we've kind of gone through that. But uh, Reclaimer, obviously, because you said you're in industry, so we've put you in industry ships. Encourage you to go look at more industry ships, but mm. why, why the Reclaimer? Yeah, the Reclaimer to uh, fill out the missing parts of the industry, and it's better than the Vulture, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Endeavor, and I'll... I want to point out it wasn't me that did this. So yeah, why why the why the endeavor? Yeah, I saw many many of your um, videos in the last two months since I played this game, and you always recommend this. And I like the the thought of it that you can grow your own food and uh, stuff on it mm-hmm. and sell it afterwards on the merchantman. Yeah. Uh, but besides, uh, one thing I'll probably add to this, and Agrid, you can have your say here too is besides those you know the 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 salvage and the two miners 
the only other kind of profession that seems to be at the moment that may change that can take things out of the game is farming because you don't need anyone else. But I, I think Algrid would agree and uh, it's probably not going to be as prevalent uh, because if you think about how often you eat in game at the moment compared to how much you do other things, I think farming will be a necessary thing. I just don't think it'll be... You, you, you tell me your piece, Algrid. I just don't think it'll be as popular as, say, mining or salvage. It, it, I don't think it'll be as popular as mining or salvage, and I, and, but I also think that those who are into the bulk production of food are going to be doing it on an out on an outpost rather than you know yeah i think i think you know yeah I, I think farming in space is going to be for more like super rare stuff almost more like drug yeah. running or or running super yeah. rare herbs or something like that so yeah, yeah. It, it's going to be more i think more akin to production of um science or medicines yeah. and yeah science and that type medicines. of that so yeah that's what i was going to say all right uh we kind of went over the better measurement so we can kind of skip that one the Kraken. Now, this was a recommendation by me, uh, but t please tell me your thoughts on it, Walt. Yes, the Kraken. It's a very big ship, uh, like a carrier. Um, I'm in a big uh, orc, and I think it will be very useful. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, and last but, and not, last least, but not least, the Orion. Yes, the biggest mining ships, baddest in the game, has to have it, no? Yeah. Well, yeah, it lines up with what you said, you know, wanting to do mining and stuff like that. So then after Algrid and I got this back, uh, we kind of went back and uh, me and Algrid did this. So literally, you can kind of like flick between the two. We didn't really do a lot, but Algrid, I'll, I'll let you yeah. go through what we did. So yeah, take it away. Yeah, probably the, the biggest change is, you know, we, we got rid of... Uh, uh, the the C8X and the the Rock, mainly because they are but we expect them to be dirt cheap in game. The Rock is dirt cheap in game. It's only seventy thousand, I think, at the moment. Um, defender, it was the defender, sorry. Uh, and, and the the yeah. So so we got rid of um, the defender and the Pisces, but yeah. 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 Um, yeah. So uh, the Pisces again. Um, there is an option to get, you can get CCU still on the black market or the grey market, mm -hmm. sorry. Uh, that will change the C8 in the Carrick itself into um, the C8X, mm -hmm. um, which I think is a better a better option. Um, and it gives you a, an LTI token from that Explorer pack to change into something else. And I think, um, the, I think the other thing that I forgot to add here, Algrid, was we did talk about a daily driver. So actually turning that mm. defender into something that he can more med readily move around in. And um, you or I would probably either recommend yep. an MSR or a Caterpillar um, in yep. that vein. Um, but that's the only other thing I think we could add to that. Like, really, it was just a little tidy up. It wasn't really much other than that. Yeah, um, and, and even the defender, like, the only reason we'd say to mm. get rid of the vendor is just because of the price and mm. what it is compared to what you can have. Yeah. Um, and it's one of those ships we expect would be relatively cheap, relatively easy to earn in game as opposed to, say, uh, the Polaris or the, the Kraken or one of the larger ships. Yeah. Um, and that's probably, the, that's probably the biggest thing there. The other big change is really um, the Polaris over the over the uh, Perseus, and this is a this really is a personal a personal taste thing, but also looking at the gameplay. Now, the law says the Perseus is an awesome ship, and it, it is a ship that had been out of production, but there were still some existing in the navy. In one of the recent combats, um, the law says that a Perseus, a Thunderchild, had destroyed two Vandal uh, destroyers, uh, and the navy went, "Wow, this is an awesome ship." But if it's such an awesome ship that they're putting it back into production, why did it go out of production? And I think it really ties into the role of a ship, and it's a defensive ship. It's one that's meant for local system defence. So it's got the small crew, it's got the big guns, but it doesn't have the the range to, to go that far, and that's its limiting factor. And I think in law, that's why it drops off, because yeah. the Navy's looking at more being mobile. So he and had... He had kind of two defensive ships as well, so having an mm. offensive and a defensive one seems to make a little bit more sense at the same size area. And I think you know yep. for the extra 
$75, the Polaris pretty much almost doubles in size over the oh, past. Oh, oh, yes. Um, so that, 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 they're the uh, other and, reasons. And I, yeah, and I 100% agree with that. But like, I've, I've got a Perseus, but my Perseus only cost me $295 uh, because I used a few Warbond CCUs mm -hmm. and, or, and CCUs I had from ages ago. Well, that's uh, actually, and that's, that's the price, I think. That's actually very poignant because that's what the next part we're about to go on to. I was just going to say you can obviously also earn down with a Polaris and get a Perseus rather than mm. the other way around. But, yeah, so one of the things... Uh, and, I... and, it's, and it's the thing we think about the Perseus. The Perseus isn't a $600 ship. It's a ship that we really feel is about a $300, $350 so, ship. So going back to what Algrid was saying about CCUs and stuff uh, and getting stuff for cheaper, we do actually recommend, we have actually recommended that he watches the, this particular episode uh, that we did with Magwolf at the end of the last year showing, um, because a lot of what he's got at the moment isn't with CCUs. So uh, by him going back and watching this particular episode with Magwith, uh, for those of you that haven't seen it, uh, he he basically spent a roughly similar amount of money uh, to what uh, Walder spent, uh, but basically using CCUs, he was able to get like an extra five ships for about five hundred dollars, um, just just with the little tricks that you can do with CCUs. So, um, and that and that was moving him into where he wanted to go, not just getting the ships yeah. because we were saying, so, hey, so, get them. So in the case of Wald, though. Um, he's already got more money than what we recommended, right? So he mm. could actually start going into ships that he just likes. You know, it's literally at that yep. point. Um, so, yeah. So that that's one to recommend. But, yeah, Wald, at the end of the day, you were telling us that you uh, you just want to stay with this one for now, yeah? Yes. Uh, I really like the, the Perseus over the Polaris. Yep, and, and quite honestly, um, with the amount of money you've got left over, you could also get a Perseus and a Polaris. Mm. We just want to point that out to, to, to viewers. So um, at, at this stage, like he's spent more money than he really needed to. And obviously, as we said, that those two other ships that are just not there that are coming, yep. um, he's got to leave room for them as well uh, within his budget. But um, unlike most people too, you're not really strapped for cash, are you, Wald? Not to put you in a... Um, not not to call you out, so to speak, but you, you're you're more financially stable than most people, yeah. Yes, I don't really um, have to. Uh, how do I say this? Uh, ma Benny? Make many savings. Yes. Mm. Right. So yeah, so he's in a little bit of a different place to most people. So this is uh, yeah, not the most uh, bang for buck fleet. Well, let's just leave it at that. Is there anything else you want to add, Agrid? Well, two things. I can I can hear badgers in the background saying, yes, yes, Perseus, you know, because... We have a yeah, muzzle for badgers. So, Don't worry. We have a muzzle for now. <laughs> so even in Inferanas, you know, badgers love the Perseus and what it mm. offers. And, you know, we don't deny it's a great ship. It's just... We don't think it's a, a six hundred dollars ship when compared to the Perseus. Mm. Uh, the other thing I would also recommend that people go to and watch are uh, the recent CCU guides and chains that we did for uh, the Scorpius, taking it up from the Mule up to the Scorpius, because that was uh, basically an educational video showing what we mean when we're talking CCU chains and what we mean by walk bond CCU chains and and how to apply those credits you got over to fill in the gaps. Um, and so you buy your wall bond CCUs and work them out and then get, a, get as many as you can in, and then you any gaps that you've got where you, you don't have anything in between that you fill them up with those, those hey, credits. And those, those videos are very valuable, I think, in that regard. really goes from go to woe. So it basically means if you've never seen it before, you can see what the hell we're talking about. And I do still believe it's the first time. Now, I'd have to go have a look, but I don't think I've seen anyone else do a live CCU application video. Like I've just I've never seen one, uh, because people don't actively want to usually apply CCUs. But because use we were, their CCUs, yeah, because we were giving it away, it was like, well, man, we might as well do a video on it. Like we might as well do yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, and there are three videos. There's one looking at the CCU. What is a what, you know, the CCU basic guide? Then there was a CCU application guide, and I think you did an advanced one a bit later on uh, uh, during. Yeah. Yeah, so, so one was one was basically what is a CCU, the second one is kind of like what is a Warbond CCU, and then the third one was basically actually applying it all. 
yeah. was making the chain. But each of those videos were at most like 15 minutes long. Oh, so, no, they're even shorter yes. than that. They're like, I think, I think there we go. two of them are like under five minutes. And I think the last one's like just over 10 minutes. So, yeah, they're, they're, I made them short so, deliberately so you short, can rewatch them piffy, and, and absorb them. Yeah. Yeah, short, pithy, and to the point. And that is. That is one of the things that I think is valuable for any person. So go to the site and check out those. I'm pretty certain Execute will put the link in the description because I'm going to hassle them to do that. Yep. Uh, Wald, are, so, you, are you happy with how that's all turned out? Like, is it, are you much happier with where your fleet sits at the moment compared to when you rocked up to us? Yes, I, I'm very happy with this. And I thank you guys very much for the help. Anytime. Man. And... Uh, oh, also, the other uh, participants in the in your Discord, they are very helpful. Cool. Thank you. All right. Yep. Um, if you like this type of content, don't forget to drop us a like, um, subscribe. What else do we add? Patreon, if you want to go the extra mile. Hit the bell. So like, subscribe, hit the bell. Feed that algorithm, leave a comment. We do read every comment. We may not respond to every comment, but we do actually read every single comment. Mm. Um, on that note, said, uh, let us know your thoughts on his fleet. Um, and it is a little bit different from the norm of, of fleets that, we, that, that we do because we are really budget savvy. Uh, but this one was more along the lines of just what he wanted. So it, it was a little bit more flexible for us than, 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 than usual fleets. So, yeah. um, but even on that, we still try to get that, that bang for buck option, um, because why not? Why, why spend more than you need to? Exactly, and and that and that's so, why we recommend the 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 Magwolf video because that really yeah. shows that he, he when it comes to the anniversary sale he can copy that and he can go into more ships just because it saves him money. You know, why, why yeah. waste money for no reason? You know, so yeah. Yeah. So if you want to go that extra mile, the Patreon is also uh, YouTube membership and yeah, all that stuff. So yeah, feel free. All right, with that then, uh, the voice in the void's been Wald. Uh, Wald, do you want to say goodbye? And goodbye, YouTube. <laughs> He's been Algrid. I've been Execute. He's been Execute. And we'll catch you next And time. we're out of here. <laughs>